Dr. Nagasawa recently addressed our international convention where he listed the critical roles that the glutathione molecule performs in every cell in your body. Glutathione is produced by every cell, but our glutathione levels decline as we age and are also lowered by factors such as stress, lack of sleep, illness, injury, chemical pollution, and even exercise. Max provides our cells with the nutrients they need to increase glutathione levels. Let's take a look. Categorically, and without any equi equivocation whatsoever, I can tell you that glutathione is the most important endogenous antioxidant there is. For one thing, it is manufactured by your own body. Secondly, as you heard before, glutathione is the only antioxidant can recycle itself. There are no other antioxidants can do that. Now, one of the major functions of glutathione is to maintain what is known as cellular redox homeostasis. Cellular redox homeostasis. I can hardly pronounce it myself. The, the only, the, the, the simplification of that thing, glutathione helps maintain the oxidation level of cells and help hold it in check. A good example of this is that the hemoglobin in your blood, red blood cells has to be in a reduced state before it can carry oxygen. In other words, if it's an oxidized hemoglobin, like in methemoglobin, oxygen cannot bind to methemoglobin. Therefore, methemoglobin is not any good for carrying oxygen to your cells. It is the glutathione that reduces hemoglobin to the plus two state, which is the reduced state. Then it can accept the oxygen and carry it all to your blood. Another major function of glutathione is that it will protect against oxidative stress of the immune system and allowing the newly generated, newly, uh, allowing, certainly allowing newly formed uh, Im immune cells proliferate to attack germs and viruses and the like. And the, as you've all heard, glutathione is a master of suppressing or sequestering free radicals. And free radicals generated normally in your normal metabolic processes. Not only it sequesters those free radicals that are unwanted, it will take the free radicals generated as a result of your exposure to, to the environment. You constantly have exposed to this industrial environment and produce, and these are produce these chemicals and other agents producing free radicals in your body. And glutathione will sequester this. Glutathione is also important to protect the uh, 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 nuclear, uh, the uh, nucleus of the cell, and the DNA of the cell, and it's most important in the mitochondrial uh, DNA because mitochondrial DNA is not very well protected. If you hit the mitochondria, damage the mitochondri mitochondrial glutathione, you would result in cell death. And this is what glutathione protects against. Glutathione is also important in the, in the protein biosynthesis process. For one thing, what happens is that glutathione, the amino acids that are, as you know, the building blocks of protein, glutathione takes it from the outside of the cell and transports that amino acid into the inside of the cell so that's now where the bi protein biosynthesis can take place. And one of the most important things in this modern industrial world is that glutathione is the first line of protection against environmental chemicals and toxins. It will sequester free radicals, but not only other things, other things that uh, David has shown on the slide, household chemicals that have, could, could be toxically ingested or you have it on your skin. So David, I can tell you again, glutathione is the most important and largest antioxidant. Thank you.